Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Legend. I'm back with another video. Today's poppy, we're going to talk about the review of Whitney Houston. I go to the rock, um, the album and the TV special. And I just finished watching it and it was phenomenal. I really enjoyed it. It was kind of short. It was only an hour. But I enjoyed it, even though they showed um, footage and photos I already saw when you used to, it still was a good um, watch, especially for the... Um to an uh, average Whitney Houston fan that really don't dig deep in for old rare stuff. So this is going to be rare to them. But anyway, the, the special was very good. First of all, let's talk about the album. The album is kind of like a compilation of Whitney Houston gospel projects that she worked um throughout the years, like with the preacher's wife, um, performances, um, gospel performances, and a few old songs. Um, I don't know that those songs was from a demo or just songs she just was recording before her recording contract. You can tell these songs were like in 1981, 82. Um, but out of all the songs on the album, my favorite one is He Can Use Me. I don't know that was recorded in 81 or 82. But it's very uh, old school. Um, all of her her songs back then got an old school gospel feel to them, like that. Uh, y'all remember the theme music to Amen? Um, it kind of remind you of that organ music that y'all know that old school organ church music. I had nothing wrong with it, but it's not my favorite genre. I like I love gospel music, but I like when uh, people like uh, Yolanda Adams and CC Winans they still got a. A good sound. They, you know, they speaking to the about the Lord and singing to the Lord, but it's still it's more of a better sound than the old school gospel song because it's just like all that organ music, and I I don't like that. But in a lot of Whitney Houston old um, gospel songs, you can really hear her mom's um, influences on her voice. You can hear that Sissy Houston ring, and it's so funny. Like I could just really. Imagine Sissy Houston, you know, Whitney Houston being encouraged and inspired by her mom because you can hear it, like I said, through the uh, certain ways she sings the song and keys she used and the notes she hit. Um, my favorite song on the album is He Can Use Me. It's beautiful. I like, I never really hear Whitney do runs and um, she give you a more of a gospel um performance live than on a uh, recorded album and on this recorded song you can hear the range and the runs and ad libs and i love it so he can use me is my favorite song on the album and tonight was uh they did the special the i go to the rock special and it, it, it was so um beautiful to see i love seeing cc Winans speak about whitney houston bb Winans was speaking about her um Fear her family members were speaking about her, and uh, um, you know, just uh, they were just talking about Whitney Houston gospel roots, and they showed performances of her performing the songs, and they were beautiful, y'all. I mean, all those um, VH1 honors um, performances, um, the one behind CC Winans, her performing alone, the uh, oh, she looked so beautiful, and she was um, that's when she was pregnant, um, at the who was it? The uh, Ebony 50th anniversary. She's gorgeous. Be another beautiful performance. Um, the performance is, oh my gosh, it was the performance with uh, the NAACP 1989 NAACP Awards. And her, CC, uh, her and BB and CC Wines will perform Hold Up the Light. And then you saw everybody come on the stage, like uh, Austin Hall. I saw Mickey Howard. I was like, oh my gosh, Mickey Howard was on that performance. She got, um, at the end of the song, they got, they let all the audience members come up and sing on stage and Mickey Howard was one of the people Mickey Howard, Austin Hall, Eddie Murphy, it was a lot of um, actors and singers and actresses and it was a really a good time especially for back then and I was like oh my gosh and Whitney oh that gown was beautiful she had this fringe uh, short white dress and it was just beautiful it was gorgeous um so that was uh, that I really enjoyed seeing that. I really enjoyed really seeing her mother and her brother. They were performing on the um, AMAs. I think that was the 88 AMAs. Don't quote me. That was 88, I think. And they performed this uh, gospel song together. It was beautiful. It, it really was. And I really enjoyed it. It was really uplifting, encouraging, and inspiring. Um, this special, I really wish they took that time and really went to my church and got old church footage. The footage I seen that was from with um Sissy Houston documentary, um Sweet Inspiration. 
I want to see new old stuff about, you know, at New Hope at Baptist Church. I know they got footage of what you and gospel performances. I want to see photos and things like that. So I think that would have made the documentary, this um, um special would have been much better. It's still excellent. But I wish they really got really rare performances and rare pictures of her performing gospel songs when she was in the choir. So, but still, like I said, it was a great, um, it was a great uh, special. Um, and during the special, they had a 1-800 number that you could order it if you want the album and the DVD. And I think it was twenty nine ninety nine. It wasn't bad. So you get a whole the whole album, the whole DVD, and they probably the DVD probably had this special on it. But it got all her performances of her gospel. It's like a compilation album, in my opinion. So um, it was. I'm going to get it. It's, it seems really good. It was, like I said, it was really inspi uplifting, encouraging, inspiring. It was good to see Whitney in a such a great positive light. And just to show that she is a gift from God. Through all her struggles, she still was a gift from God. But anyway, it's your girl, Lola Loves You. I'll be back with another video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all watched it, if y'all don't watch you know somebody's going to upload it on YouTube. So y'all don't have to worry about that. I was going to do a watch party, y'all, but it's no sense on Instagram doing a watch party because they show all these performances. And, you know, Instagram, you know, you don't have rights to the music. They was going to shut this, the live down. So I didn't feel like keep going through all that. But I hope somebody will upload it. I know one of my honey bunnies um, recorded it. So I hope they upload it on their channel. And I'll be back with another video. I love my honey bunnies. Bye.